Hi, I'm Jasmine, the sequel, and I am not relatable. So today's video is about Gabriella Fortunato. I hope I'm saying that correctly, but um, I could very well be butchering your name. If I am, I am so incredibly sorry. I'm just really terrible with names in general. This video that I want to discuss was posted in June 13th, 2018. It's her What I Eat in a Day video. Now, overall, Gabriella seems to be a very nice, unproblematic person. She does mostly uh, lifestyle stuff, try on hauls, and she'll have the occasional get ready with me. She seems very, very sweet from everything that I've seen of her. This video has the comments and the like to dislike ratio turned off. I'm not sure if that's how she posted it originally or if she had posted it with the comments and the like to dislike on, but she got so much hate that she turned it off. I could totally believe that second one because people really just like to hate on fat people on the net, even if they're, even if they're not doing anything wrong other than just living their lives. Hey guys, good morning. I just got out of the shower, so my hair is like crazy. <laughs> um, but that's not what this video is about. Today I'm gonna be doing a what I eat in a day video. This has been like highly, highly requested by you guys. So I'm gonna show you what I eat. <laughs> Uh, just for reference, I don't follow any type of diet. I don't, I'm not eating, like, I'm just eating. Like, but when I'm eating, I'm eating mindfully, so I'm just eating mindfully. I don't know. I'm just aware of what I'm putting into my body. So I'm going to make some breakfast. Typically, I don't like to eat as soon as I wake up. Um, so I showered, I answered emails, and now I'm ready to eat breakfast. So I'm going to have some eggs. So typical breakfast for me is either eggs or egg whites, depending on how hungry I am. I waited a little bit too long today to eat, so I'm like hungry, so I'm gonna make egg whites, I mean eggs. <laughs> I'm gonna make eggs, because I need the protein. And I just make two eggs. Okay, and then with my eggs, I typically always have three of these turkey sausages. And then I typically always have avocado, but this is like, these are so rock hard, all of them. So, no avocado today. So this is my breakfast, two eggs, and three turkey sausage links with a little bit of ketchup drizzle. Again, I usually would have avocado, but they're all way too hard. So, gonna eat this, and then probably in about like two hours, I'll have a snack or lunch, just depending on how hungry I am. Her breakfast looks okay, but it does seem a little bit uh, low calorie for one thing, and it's also lacking in some carbs. So she has some nice amount of uh, healthy fat and protein from the eggs, and then she's also getting some protein in those sausages. Those sausages are very, very low calorie, but you know, she likes them, she can go for them. If they work for her, that's awesome. I would also say to maybe add like a serving or a half of oatmeal in there for slow digesting carbs and maybe you can top it with some berries. You know, you get all those delicious antioxidants in them and also you get some additional fiber that also help her with her stomach. It will help just settle your stomach a little bit. And I know it's gross, but everybody needs to poop. Fiber will help you do that. Okay, so it's about three o'clock. It's a few hours later. It's like four hours later. Um, so I'm gonna have lunch, I'm hungry now. So one of my all time favorite lunches is a spinach salad. And I'll show you what I use to make it. So obviously I just have some baby spinach, some feta cheese, craisins, these are the ones with 50% less sugar, some walnut chunks, and then a whole onion. I love onion. This is probably like way too much onion for most people, but I live for onion, so. And then I make a pretty big salad, so I'm gonna put it in this bowl. So I'm gonna make it and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so this is what it looks like afterwards. I don't use any dressing because I love all these flavors. Like, I don't feel like it needs dressing. So, actually, I feel like dressing even kind of ruins it. <laughs> like, I love the flavors of, like, the onion with the walnut and the craisins. I just, I love this salad. So, that's my salad. I'm going to eat this for lunch. And I'll be drinking a Diet Pepsi with it. I love Diet Soda, guys. It's really bad, but I love it so much. This lunch does not seem like an adequate meal. I'm sorry, but it's just not. It needs... It needs more protein for one. Yeah. This salad looks yummy, but it does seem not very satiating. With what looks to be about half an ounce of cheese and half an ounce of walnuts, it's both lacking in healthy fats and lacking in protein. You know what could easily fix that? Maybe just tossing in, you know, a few ounces of 
roast a chickpeas, for example. That could give you both a little bit of carb and a little bit of uh, protein. You could maybe add some tofu or some roasted chicken to it. Try adding a little bit of hemp hearts to the top of it for those omegas and for some healthy fat, maybe a quarter of an avocado, like the kind that she was planning having on breakfast. Now I understand if you don't have that, you can just add what you have, but I think even just adding additional walnuts would be nice, you know? Just to get a little bit more sustenance in that salad. And spinach is great. I encourage people eating spinach, go for it. But if you're having this on a regular enough basis, maybe try switching it up. Maybe switch out half the amount of spinach with crispy kale or purple cabbage, just to get a little bit of variety in your diet, to make sure that you're eating a little bit of everything. Eat the rainbow, as they say. Not not the Skittles kind, I mean like the vegetable kind. <laughs> Eat the vegetable rainbow. Not as tasty, but infinitely better for you. You could do both. Both is also okay occasionally. All right guys, so I'm having a little snack before I make dinner. I've never tried these before. They're like little pretzel chips called pretzels, I don't know, sea salt flavor. Um, and then I have some olive tapenade hummus. So I have also never tried this hummus. I don't live for hummus, but I love olives. So hopefully this is good, but yeah, having a little snack. So she doesn't mention how much she ate of the, the chips and the hummus. I think as a snack, that's fine. If she ate one or two servings of each, that's perfectly fine. If she ate the whole container of both, that's maybe not the best because it can be pretty calorically dense, but given how light her lunch was, it wasn't surprising if she did. That said, it is a pretty good snack. She's getting a lot of, you know, healthy fat from the tahini in the hummus that she has and the chickpeas, you know, she's getting a lot of protein from that. Even the olives that she has in there will provide her with a little bit of healthy uh, fats and the chips, the pretzel chips that she's eating will give her some carb. Now, if she really wanted to up the nutrient factor of this, what she could do is she could also add, maybe like do half a bag of the, the pretzel chip things and do maybe some carrots. Carrots and hummus are a great combination. They're also got that really nice, crunchy, crispy factor going for them. And you get a ton of that great beta carotene. So maybe try that, maybe have some celery with it as well. Just switch it up a little bit, you know, don't, you don't need to have that much of one thing. Maybe try a couple of different things, see if there's something else you like a little bit better. All right guys, it's seven o'clock. This is what's for dinner. It is shrimp and then I added some pesto to it. it looks delicious. And then I'm having mine over spaghetti squash. I'm just gonna fill up the shrimp into my squash. I accidentally did not cut it evenly, as you can tell, that's not half and half. So I'm having three quarters. And then Henner's gonna have this and then some rice, brown rice. So that's what dinner is. I'll show you when it's like plated and doesn't look so hideous. Okay guys, this is my dinner. So definitely gonna be the last meal of the day. <laughs> so I cooked the spaghetti squash. I always have a hard time with spaghetti squash. I just cut it in half and then cooked it for like 50 minutes on 400 in the oven. I seasoned it with a little drizzle of olive oil, salt, and garlic powder. And then my shrimp, I just cooked in another like little drizzle of olive oil, salt, garlic, and then lemon juice. And then I put the butoni, I think that's what it's called, butoni pesto over it. It's so good. That pesto is literally like the best pesto ever, so try it if you haven't. But this is gonna be my last meal, and then I'll show you guys, but I'm sure I'll have like a little dessert after. So her dinner looks absolutely delicious. I love shrimp scampi. Now, shrimp has a ton of protein in it. It's also got uh, good cholesterol, HDL, <laughs> as, it, as it's called. So, you know, that's a great choice. And uh, there's a ton of healthy fat in that pesto from the walnuts or the pine nuts that were used. Fantastic. I would also say that I know she's getting a lot of squash in there, which is great because uh, squash is very high in uh, manganese, antioxidants, vitamin A, B6. Um, C, <laughs> I forgot C. So it's, it's really great for you, but I think she can maybe switch it up a little bit, add a couple of other vegetables in there too, you know? Maybe try adding a couple of cherry tomatoes to your, to your shrimp scampi. Have some cut up pieces of asparagus in there or wilt in some kale. I think adding a little bit more veg to that would really help both with the satiation factor, but it will also help once more provide you with a wide variety of nutrients. All right guys, so it's the final meal food item of the night so i figured i'd show you it's 10 o'clock i'm having my dessert <laughs> um which is a coconut ice pop 
I live for these coconut fruit bars. They're so good. They're so creamy. They just taste so amazing. Such like I only like them in the summer though. I swear there's something about like summer and coconut. <laughs> but it tastes so good. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this kind of video, let me know in the comments down below so I can update you guys whenever I mean I change what I eat pretty frequently, but you know what I mean. Um I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Ooh, I love those popsicles. Like, I don't think you guys understand. I will eat them all year round. I like them so, so much. My mom would get like a box up for us like every single day. And I swear to God, I think I can eat like the entire box by myself. <laughs> They're so good. Ugh. I think they also have a pineapple flavor. And I think that one was my favorite. But I also really like coconut. I really like both of them together, ideally. Basically, what I'm saying is I like pina coladas. <laughs> Uh, and getting caught in the rain. Fun fact, that is also true. So all in all, I think that her food looks good. I think that she's, you know, doing a good job. And if it works for her, then that's fantastic. I would say that she's maybe eating a lot of calories towards the end of her day and not so much in the beginning. And I think having a more even distribution of food can really help. Uh, I've found for myself personally that if I wait too long to eat, I experience a lot of negative symptoms. So there's like the dizziness and the nausea and all that fun stuff. But I also, when I do start eating, I eat a lot more than I mean to. So maybe try having more food towards the beginning of the day. I would also say that I found that most of her meals are lacking veggies. I think adding a lot, a lot of vegetables or adding more vegetables is a really good way of, uh, of introducing a lot of micronutrients into your diet and most importantly they're very yummy a lot of them are very very delicious i think a great breakfast option is uh since you said she already likes eggs i do um like an egg white cheese spinach and mushroom um omelet in the morning i think it's really delicious really keeps me satiated it, you know i have it with like a slice of bread sometimes if i'm feeling it or i just have it by itself you get, you know, fiber from the veggies you've got in there. You get protein from the eggs and the cheese, and you get some fat from the cheese as well. And I would think that maybe adding a little fruit would also be a good thing. So maybe like a snack of, you know, some cottage cheese with a peach sliced on top of it and, you know, some crushed almonds as a snack after breakfast. That could be something really, really tasty. Or maybe doing a banana with a couple of tablespoons of peanut butter. I just mean that maybe having a few fruits here and there would really improve your day as well. Fruits and vegetables are great to have both in meals and in snacks. And I think in the terms of fruit, especially it can feel more snacky. They're sweet, they're delicious. I think everybody should eat more fruit. Also, when you're looking at snacks, try to think of snacks as basically mini meals and less like, <laughs> Mm, that's my, my partner's computer. What I was trying to say was that I want you to think of snacks more like mini meals. Try and make them as complete as possible. Try to also have a fruit or a veggie in there. Make sure that you're getting the trifecta of protein, fat, and fiber. Those three things are gonna keep you very satiated. Try and always find foods that you enjoy eating. I mean, no diet is gonna feel worth it, uh, no diet. And by diet, I'm using that not in the weight loss diet, but just how you eat. Nothing is gonna feel worth it if you're not enjoying what you're eating, you know? So find foods that work for you. Try and make them as nutritionally complete as you possibly can, including snacks. So that will be it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs down if you hated it. That's totally okay. I respect everybody's opinions here. You can leave me a comment down below if there's something you'd like to really, really know. If there's another channel you'd like me to review or talk about, please leave that down below as well. Uh, I've got, you know, sorry. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> um, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Hit the notification bell if you'd like to know immediately when I post. I've got all my socials linked down below. I've got Twitter where I pop off and where you know I give all my opinions on things. I also tend to put more updates in there of like what's happening and when I'll post things. So if you want to know, follow me there. I have my Instagram linked where I post basically stuff about my life and what I'm cooking. Right now I don't go anywhere or do anything so it's basically just stuff I cook. I'll post like recipes and stuff of my own that I have there so if you're interested in that kind of content that's there too. There's also Patreon. Think of Patreon like a tip jar for the internet. So if you like the job that I'm doing here and you want to toss a few coins in my direction that's where you can do it. You don't have to. You don't have to feel obligated please under any circumstances but if you could I would really appreciate that. Now, as always, I am Jasmine, the sequel, and I am not relatable.
Peace.